I want to talk to you now about achieving high energy performance. The mark of the exceptional person is that he or she is determined to get the very most living out of life. He or she is fully engaged. The exceptional person, in Maslow's words, wants to become everything he or she is capable of becoming. Now, you may have a thousand different goals over the course of your lifetime. They will all fall under one of four basic categories. Everything you do is an attempt to enhance the quality of your life in one or more of these areas. The first goal that you have in common with everyone else is your desire for happy relationships. You want to love and to be loved by other people. You want to have a happy and harmonious home life. You want to get along well with the people around you, and you want to earn the respect of the people you respect. Now, your involvement in social and community affairs and activities is determined by your desire to have happy interactions with other people and to make a contribution to the society you live in. You actually measure your success in life by how genuinely happy you really are, and happiness involves your relationships more than anything else. Now, the second goal you have in common with everyone else is your desire for interesting and challenging work. You want to make a good living, of course, but more than that, you want to really enjoy what you do as an occupation or profession. The very best times of your life are when you are completely absorbed by your work and your business activities. And one of your great responsibilities as an adult is to find exactly the work for you, the, the work that gives you happiness and joy and the work that unlocks your full potential. The third goal you have in common with others is your desire for financial independence. You want to be free from worries about money. You want to have enough money in the bank so that you can make decisions without counting your pennies. You want to achieve a certain financial estate so that you can retire in comfort and never have to worry about money again for the rest of your life. Financial independence frees you from poverty and the tendency for many people to have to depend on others for their livelihood. If you save and invest regularly throughout your working life, you will eventually reach the point where you'll never have to work again. And that's one of the things we teach you how to do. The fourth and final goal that you have in common with everyone else is your desire for good health. You want to be free of pain and illness and to have a continuous flow of energy and feelings of well-being. In fact, your health is so important to you, so central to your life, that you take it for granted unless something happens to disrupt it. The common denominator of these four common goals and the essential requirement for achieving each of them is high levels of energy. To achieve even a small amount of success in any one of these areas requires the development and expenditure of energy. It's the critical fuel and the one ingredient without which no other accomplishment is possible. So thinking about your levels of energy, how to build them and sustain them, is an important part of your life. Since your various kinds of energy are central to everything you accomplish, it behooves you to be very sensitive to the things you do that either build up or deplete your energy levels. Remember, everything that you do or don't do will have an impact on how you feel and how you perform. And the results of these activities are cumulative. Everything counts.